Hey friends, we are getting ready to head out the door to Costco. I got my big water with me and I have not been to Costco in quite a while. So we are going to go and kind of explore what they have for the warmer months. It's obviously heading in to summer right now. So I figure they're gonna have a lot of new things out for that and I just simply need to stock up. I know whenever I run out of certain things around the house that I need to head to Costco again and it is high time for sure. So I'm excited to take you all along with me into Costco and then hopefully end up with a great haul later on. Looks like it's a busy day at Costco today. There is a lot of people here. We walked in the door and the first thing the girls noticed was these Lego trucks. We're a big Lego family. And Hazley, what did you say you noticed about it? Lego packs. So it's like boxes of Legos, they're moving? Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, and there's like a scanner back there. They have a little model of it, completely made. It's on the pricey side, <laughs> $75, but it's cute. And they have a bunch of toy stuff right inside the door here, and Everly noticed these stuff plants and she just thinks that they would be so cute on her bed <laughs> so I'm letting her pick they have one that looks like succulents or like cactuses and then one that has flowers which one are you gonna get the one with the flowers they're so cute oh they're soft on the inside the dirt part is soft <laughs> Okay, so generally whenever I'm going to get paper towels or toilet paper, I come back here and I get it first because it's easier to load my cart <laughs> and pile stuff on top of it. So today I need to pick up some paper towels and I'm going to check their prices on toilet paper. We're not quite to the point of needing them, needing it, but if I'm here, I might just grab it. With kids and a dog, this is just something that we use right now in life. <laughs> okay, so right now the Waterloo's, I kind of check which ones, which seltzers are on sale. We always love seltzers. I buy them a lot just at Walmart and other grocery stores, but they can be a really good price here. Right now they are $8.99 for a pack of 24 and we really like this brand all of these flavors are good it's peach um, blackberry lemonade and cherry lime um, so I'm definitely gonna grab a pack of these since the warmer weather has hit I have been hunting for a more natural ice pop for the girls I just hate buying sugar water to freeze it and you all know that I do make my own pops sometimes with yogurt and stuff but these here are organic they don't have extra added sugar and they are 100% fruit juice so we're gonna give them a try I've never gotten them before they're $9.99 for 35 of them so we'll give it a try see if we like it they look really good it has strawberry lemon mango orange and blueberry pomegranate maybe I'll even enjoy having one every now and then Okay, so as most of you know, I do eat pretty healthy, and this brand, through the years, at times, I've gotten it. It's called Real Good. I grabbed a bag here, and I eat pretty low sugar, and these are low sugar. It's a General Tso's chicken that I could combine with some veggies or something on a really busy night whenever I don't have time to make something healthy for myself. It's like a medium healthy item. So $13.99 for a whole bag and I'll probably get a good amount of meals out of this for myself. I'm always on the lookout for something for my husband and he does enjoy kombucha. Um, Cause when I come home from Costco, he's like, what did you bring for me? <laughs> so I'm gonna get this. I've never seen this brand. I've seen they had a soda as well, but there's a lot of flavors in here. It is a 10 pack. Um, and tall cans, so we'll give them a try. I'm always on the lookout for the good produce deals whenever I'm here. These are $3.89 for a big pack of strawberries. Super happy about that. And then over here, these big packs of mushrooms. I think I might do like a Salisbury steak or something this week or some stuffed mushrooms. $3.69, super great deal. 
This is not a bad deal for a big bag of green beans, but I like to get their frozen ones. They're an even better deal, so we'll check on that when we go over to the freezer. These are asparagus. I personally never eat asparagus this big. Like these are bigger than my fingers. <laughs> but for some people, I've heard that you can prepare it in different ways. And then here is Brussels sprouts. These are $6.49 for a good sized bag. So I think I'm gonna grab some. We always love to have those roasted or air fried. These cherries look beautiful. They're $5.99, so I'm gonna get them just as another fruit to snack on this week. They look so good. Cherries are one of my absolute favorite snacks, or I should say fruits, just so delicious. If you guys watch often, you know my love for these mini um, sweet bell peppers, and they are $4.99 for this nice size bag, so I'm definitely gonna snag these up. and we are big cucumber fans in our house and look how cute these are they're just these little tiny cucumbers that we can snack on if you guys have seen my past costco hauls you know i love 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 this brand their breakfast sausages are really good i'm not seeing them so if i spot them i'll probably grab a pack of them as well but this is just their chicken sausages they're super clean and a really fast easy um, meal when paired with some roasted veggies. Look at all of those turkeys. <laughs> it smells so good right here. Okay, so I have been somebody that makes my own sauerkraut, but right now I don't have the time. I don't have any of it set up. And this is like the real deal live sauerkraut with the live probiotics in it. So I'm gonna grab some of this to eat with some of these sausages as a quick meal. Guac is a must when we come to Costco. This one is so good. Our entire family loves it and it's such a good healthy snack with some corn chips. And I found the breakfast sausages, so I'm definitely gonna get some of these. There's actually three packs in here. So I just separate them and then freeze them individually and we pull them out and we throw them in the frying pan frozen and they work out perfectly. These are so yummy. Another thing that we really love is these almond flour wraps as well. They just are good, they have a lot of clean ingredients, and they aren't a bad price here compared to in the grocery store. I don't know if I'm gonna grab any of those today, but I'm definitely going to grab some of these outer aisle cauliflower sandwich rounds. These are so tasty, I love frying these next to my eggs and having like a dippy or over easy egg on top of these. They're just like a round, kind of like a flatbread, but they're made out of cauliflower and they're so delicious. Costco has all the tomatoes today and we are looking at these ones with different colors, right Kylia? Yeah. And the girls really love eating these as snacks. So I think I'm gonna get a pack. She's super intrigued by the yellow ones. <laughs> so I'm gonna try them, right? You gonna eat them on the way home? Okay. Yeah. Okay, something that I've been getting at Costco or and Sam's Club for years is the triple zero yogurt. It's always a good price here. And something I've been doing lately with it, just as a good healthy snack, is I take the vanilla and I mix a little bit of 100% peanut butter in it. And then I put a little bit of stevia sweetened chocolate chips. And it's like you're eating a healthy cookie dough. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, or even with any type of vanilla yogurt, you can do that. And it's delicious. So right now, there is 18 in a pack for $12.89. So that's less than, how is that? That is less than a dollar per cup, which is a super great deal for the triple zero yogurts. Okay, so I know that I've gotten some of you hooked on the buttery steakhouse seasoning. Here they have it in big containers. We actually just ran out of it the other day, so I'm grabbing one, um, but it is a good price here at Costco. So if you put it on everything like I do, I know I show this in almost every single video that I cook in, because <laughs> I put it on chicken and all my veggies. You see one you like, Hazley? These are so cute. They're great spring and summer dresses you like that one for church or for just for warm weather this is one of the reasons i love coming every season you get to see the different seasonal things 
So since it's been a pretty busy day, I kind of got us two options for dinner. One are these street tacos that are all put together. I just will throw the chicken into an air fryer or I got these seasoned marinated pork chops that we might throw on the grill. That would be a pretty quick dinner as well. So like I mentioned, right when we got to Costco, it was so crazy busy. So it was a little hard to film and chat with you all in store. But these are the things I think I didn't show you whenever we were shopping. So you all saw me get like paper towels and Waterloo and just a bunch of veggies, I believe. I think I kind of picked through the things I showed you in store and I actually have my receipt here. I heard a really smart tip recently on grocery shopping and meal prepping from a grocery shopping trip. So I've chatted with you all about how to make meal plans before. So you can either make your meal plan and then base your grocery shopping off the meal plan that you created or you can go grocery shopping, see what deals you find, bring your haul home and then create a meal plan off of the things that you found that were a really good deal at the store. So that's more or less what I'm gonna be doing, but I heard the greatest tip and that is to keep your receipt and use this to kind of plan your meal plan off of, which I think is so smart because then you don't have something forgotten in the back of the refrigerator. And I really wanna get better at managing the things that are in my food storage and so that was a great tip I heard recently. So I'm gonna just pop through this stuff. I need to put some of this away, but a couple of things. I don't often get the big whopping bags of snacks at Costco, um, but this is made without any um, vegetable oil or canola oil. It's made with coconut oil. And so I thought I'll go ahead and get that. Plus like, honestly, our family loves popcorn. We blow through it. What often happens when I get really big bags of stuff at Costco is we eat through part of it and then the rest goes stale. But I might bag this popcorn out into baggies. Um, I think it would be really good. I also grabbed a low sugar um, granola. Of course, I mentioned that I eat a lot of low sugar. This is a blueberry cinnamon. I've actually gotten this before. Really, really like this brand. I do make my own um, grain-free granola at times, but um, this is just an easy go-to. And that's really what a lot of my haul was about today, was just kind of grab and go stuff. I'm coming off of a busy season in the last couple of weeks. Plus I got really sick, lost my voice. I think I mentioned that in a recent video. And so I'm just trying to like get the house back in order. There's a lot going on. So I needed some things that I, were healthy or semi-healthy. That word healthy means so many different things to different people but things that are as much as whole food as I can get them. That's probably the best way to describe it. And speaking of that, the um, that's it fruit bars. So one of the reasons, of course, my daughters like to go to Costco is for all of the samples and things they can taste and try as we shop to highlight for them. And one of the things they had out for sample was these That's It bars. They're mini fruit bars. They're strawberry, mango, and blueberry. And I like that these are smaller. Um, sometimes when it comes to like prepackaged granola bars, my girls are not the best at always eating the whole thing. So I thought that would work. But these are not a granola bar. They're actually just dried fruit. They're applesauce. They're two ingredients. They're applesauce and then whatever fruit flavor is with them and the girls really liked them when they tasted them, so I decided to go ahead and snag these. There's 24 mini bars, and they may be something that we purchase again if they really enjoy having them for like a snack on the go, especially with summertime here. That's another thing is like packing lunches and stuff, just having some things around. If you don't know, we actually homeschool, so I don't need to pack lunches all year round, but I feel like in the summertime, we're doing a lot of activities or going camping, 
So having some conveniency stuff is really nice. Something else I grabbed was some maple syrup. Um, I do get our, I like to get our maple syrup locally. I, there's somebody I can get five gallon buckets from, but we don't have any of that right now. So I'm just relying on either Aldi or Costco syrup. So I grabbed a jug of that. And then I saw these here. Again, we have some gluten sensitivity in our house. When I say gluten sensitivity, we do have some things with gluten in it. It's not an allergy and um, something like that, but just keeping a lot of it out of my diet and my one daughter's diet. So this here is a gluten-free sprouted rolled oats, which I've been making a lot more oatmeal things for myself. So I'm excited to try this out. Got a big bag of garlic because if you pay attention and watch off and you know I'm out of my frozen minced garlic right now and so I needed to get a bag so that I can blend a bunch of it up and get it in the freezer. So you'll probably see that in a prep sometime soon. And then I have been craving peaches. I saw this oatmeal um peach muffin recipe the other day and i've been dying to make it and i'm like oh i'm gonna have to wait until probably like july at some point because we live in central pennsylvania and so peaches are not in season right now but i ran across these california peaches that smell amazing and they're ready to eat so i think today or tomorrow i'll probably make up that recipe and the girls are love peaches love 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 so they will love those um, and it's a great source of vitamins and nutrients for them. And then I had shown you the General Tso's chicken from the Real Good brand that's in the freezer already, but I also got these here and we did have the street tacos for dinner, um, but I did not have that myself. So I actually threw a couple of these in the air fryer. They're pretty much like chicken fingers, but they are gluten-free and they're made with semi-healthy ingredients. So I just had some of those with a salad and I got a bag of russet potatoes. The potatoes were a pretty good price for this nice big bag. Then this here is something we've gotten before and it's been a while. It's pork raised without antibiotics and a vegetarian fed diet. So they're pretty healthy. There's no gluten, nitrates, um, MSG or preservatives in these. And if you guys remember in Costco, I showed you the cauliflower rounds that I can use to make like, they're kind of like a flatbread. I can make sandwiches and stuff with. So these with an egg would be a perfect, nice, um, low sugar breakfast for me. So loving having these around. This here is something that's a staple for us. I get this almost every Costco trip and that is the archer um beef sticks they're just a great thing to be able to snack on then i also got these mini potatoes mainly for my husband you know i was saying in store that he is always like what did you bring me because <laughs> the girls get their snacks and things so one thing he loves are these mini potatoes and a lot of times they come in a really small bag in the grocery store and they can be kind of pricey they're not really the cheapest potato if you're going in the potato aisle but these were a good price and they're a mixed color and I know he's gonna love making these up. And usually what he likes to do is kind of make a pouch of um, aluminum foil and just stuff them all in there, put some oil in with them and then pack them into the oven, um, especially if it's a busy night and he's the one making dinner. This is something that he likes to make. And then this is a gluten-free pasta we like. It is made with chickpeas. Um, again, not the cheapest pasta in the aisle. So if I can buy it in a larger quantity, it always works out and saves me a little bit of money. So love that. And we've needed some more pasta around. We don't eat it very often, but then whenever I get kind of the brainstorm to either make some freezer meals or make a bunch of dishes, I love having something like that on hand to help me out. I was out of my freezer bags, obviously with doing a lot of big batch cooking, I do use up a lot of freezer bags and I've done freezer cooking for so many years and I will tell y'all this. Now, of course, not everybody has the same experience and it depends on what you're freezing. Some things are fine, but I have had cheaper brands of freezer bags fail me and I end up losing stuff in the freezer. So. Since I've experienced some of that, I just always go for the true Ziploc brand and I've always, there's a little bit of a thicker bag 
and they always hang in there for me. Um, a few other knickknacks, <laughs> a few other things I grabbed. I got some yellow kiwis. I think we've had these one other time and I think it was a time when like a grocery store had them and I got maybe three or four of them because they're a specialty item. Um, they seem to cost more. So these were a good price. We got a nice big box of them. And the great thing is, is they are not quite ready. That's another thing I was keeping track of. You remember I got the cherries when we were in Costco. Um, I was trying to remember if I got any other fruit. Strawberries, I think that's it. And then the peaches. So I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to have everything ready at once. So I decided um, these would be great because they're not quite ready. I'm gonna keep them in the refrigerator and probably a couple of days I'll get them out. I'll put them on my table in my sunroom and they'll ripen up for us. And I'm excited for um, to try these. I think like I said, we have tried them before and I'm pretty sure they just taste pretty much like a kiwi, but they're golden kiwis. I got a nice big block of cheddar cheese. You guys remember when I went to Costco in Florida um, a couple months ago, we tried this for the first time and we actually really liked it. So I'm going to probably grab one of these almost every time we go. Um, I have a few recipes I wanna make up this week that needed bell peppers. So they are these nice big six packs of bell peppers. This is something I used to eat a lot years ago and I've gotten back into using them on wraps and things like that. And that is the, the Laughing Cow um, wedges. These are like a lighter, sort of like a cream cheese consistency. Um, works super great on all kinds of recipes. Also in like pasta sauce, you can throw a couple wedges in if you want like a lighter version of a creamy pasta sauce. And then of course the tried and true grass fed butter that I either get at Costco or at Aldi. And it's a pretty good price for grass fed butter. I do occasionally get regular butter, but for the most part, we do eat grass fed butter. So I'm going to get all of this stuff put away and I need to sit down and really kind of plan out how I'm gonna use a lot of these ingredients um, through this coming week. Like I said, I do have some preps I need to work on and I know that I'm gonna be able to use up a lot of this stuff and get it prepared for us so that it doesn't just sit in my pantry um, and it gets eaten up pretty quickly. I decided I'm gonna put the popcorn into just some gallon size bags. So I think three of them, I will be able to fit all this in. And this is organic popcorn too, which is always good, especially corn products. Um, I like to get those on the organic side. Then I'm also going to put these ice pops into the freezer as well. Super excited to try these and I probably should have gotten two bags of them, but We'll probably do another run to Costco before too many more weeks. Is anybody else like scared of tearing apart ice pops? <laughs> I've had different ones rip and they just like, then of course you've got quite a mess. But anyways, so I'm just gonna tear these apart so that my children don't have to try to tear them apart. And these flavors look so good. They are gonna love these. Like I said, I don't buy them very often. So if they end up having them, our dog <laughs> comes running through. Um, I, they end up having them at like friends' houses or at grandma's or something like that if, um, just because I don't have, keep them around very often. But I did wanna speak to a thought I was having this week, especially because if you're anything like me and you like to make homemade meals, um, and you want the best for your family, you want your children to eat um, as good as you can provide for them. It's sometimes, oh, I just, I just ripped one. <laughs> um, it's some, oh my word, hang on a second. All right, recover from that. Um, it's sometimes humbling to get pre-made things or to grab stuff that is more of a conveniency item and I just want to speak to anybody that is going through something difficult in life that just do your very best. 
It does not have to always be homemade. It does not always have to be organic or sprouted or <laughs> the most high quality thing out there. Um, it, there are seasons in life and some of them just do not include being able to make everything from scratch, especially, that was close. <laughs> This is this is like a game or something, um, especially if you were ha just had a baby, if you just went through a death in the family, if you are going through marital struggles, relationship struggles, um, the age of your children. I know like our daughters are each a year apart and they, when they were all three in diapers, um, I was also going through a lot in a life at that time, but um, I was not always able to create the perfect, healthy, rounded meals. And if that's you right now, don't stress it. You'll get back to it. And that's, I think, the thing. You have to move on. I heard somebody um, recently say that they're in a phase of life of just moving on. I think it was Milena Cinciati. Um, I really love her channel here on YouTube if you don't follow her but she's super encouraging and she was saying that she's in a season of life of moving on and you know basically if something's not working we're moving on if the if your child doesn't want to take a nap um, we're moving on to the next thing if um, something's not I don't want to crinkle too bad but if something isn't working in your home school then maybe it's just not the moment to do it And I would say that that it has been a lesson for me in life as well, especially being someone that likes to, I wouldn't say being a perfectionist, but I have a lot of things that I like to try to perfect in life. And sometimes God's had to teach me that it's just not always going to work exactly the way you pictured it. And there are seasons and there are cycles for different things and we just have to ebb and flow. And as mothers that, if you are a mother that strives for perfection, sometimes you gotta go with that ebb and flow and you gotta move on and go to the next activity, go to the next um, phase of the day and just try again tomorrow. So, and maybe it's try again next month, maybe it's try again next year. You know, maybe you're just in a season that you need to get the prepackaged snack <laughs> and you're not going to be able to make the homemade granola bars and whatnot. So I just wanted to speak to that because it's definitely something that I have had to allow God to work in my heart and allow him to just humble me. Like I said, it takes humility because in our pride we want to say, well, I can do it all and I can make it all homemade and perfect. And I think that the internet sometimes can be un, uh, pretty unforgiving with that. Whenever you're a content creator like myself, you know, they are like, well, you know, you said that you're trying to um, do all your things homemade or whatever. And then when you get something that's prepackaged in your video, then they're very critical of that. And I think um, it's just interesting how like everybody has ebb and flows. Like for example, I am not doing as much home preserving. I'm gonna be doing some, but not as much this year, um, which last year I did do what I call like a double year. I did a year um, where I have a lot of things that are reaching into this next year or like into this year. So I don't have quite as much to do. We're gonna be doing corn and things like that, but I don't have as much to do and I'm not gonna press myself to do it. My children are in an age where they really need me right now. We are learning a lot of fundamentals in our homeschool. We are in kindergarten, first and second, going into first, second, and third. And those are really important fundamental years that they need my attention. And so I'm not gonna be able to try out as many new canning recipes this year. Like I said, I'm not, not doing any of it, but just not as many things this year. And my parents have moved to Florida, which most of you know, and they are gonna be back for July, uh, yeah, it would be July and August, um, and a little bit of September this year. And so obviously we're gonna be doing activities with them while they're here, and that's gonna take up time as well, which my mom did say she wants to do some canning and things with me while we're here. 
So corn is a big one. We are gonna be doing corn again. If you all remember, I have kind of an Amish trick to canning, home canned sweet corn, and it tastes like it's been frozen. Um, it's super good. I've had a lot of people um, taste it and not know that I had canned it, so that tells a lot for sure. All right, I'm gonna get these put into the freezer and these put into our snack cupboard. Thanks a lot for joining me today. I hope this video gave you some inspiration and encouragement. And I have been posting a lot more often lately, if you guys haven't noticed. Um, I've been trying to do two to three videos a week. And so I hope that you're enjoying that. If you're new around here, definitely hit the subscribe button so you can join in on that. And I love chatting with you all in the comments below. Thanks for riding along with me today and I'll see you guys in my next video.